Now to the Democratic presidential race in Texas. Bernie Sanders has a new name this weekend, the Democratic front runner. He built momentum after Iowa and New Hampshire and campaigned in Texas this weekend, spending time in Mesquite, just east of Dallas. And take a look at this poll of Texas voters. He leads in the state, but behind the story, the real information lies. Sanders wasn't first here last fall, but since the last UT Texas Tribune survey, Sanders has doubled his support in Texas. He passed Joe Biden and Elizabeth Warren. We sat down with Sanders just before he took the stage at the Mesquite Rodeo. Senator, thank you for the time. My pleasure. Uh, you know, despite your success in Iowa and New Hampshire, there's still a lot of moderate voters and independent voters who, who are just nervous about you. What do you tell them? Well, I tell them two things, that we are the strongest campaign to defeat the most dangerous president uh, in modern American history, and that is Donald Trump. And the reason for that is we have a grassroots movement of hundreds and hundreds of thousands of volunteers who, as we speak, they're knocking on doors, they're making phone calls. To defeat Donald Trump, you need a large voter turnout. To create a large voter turnout, you need energy and excitement. Take a look at the crowd out there today. We can hear it right now. That's right. This is how you beat Trump. We were today, uh, we were earlier in, in North Carolina, uh, the same kind of energy and excitement. We're bringing working people, we're bringing young people into the political process. That's how you beat Trump. There, there's no question you have a very powerful base out there, but you, you have to expand it to moderates and independents in order to win and defeat Trump, don't you? Well, you do two things. I think a lot of the, you know, what is very clear is that and I know I speak for all of the other Democratic candidates. You know, each one is trying to win. I hope we win. But at the end of the day, all of us and our supporters are going to come together to defeat Trump. The challenge that we face is you need a large voter turnout to defeat Trump, the largest in American history. I think our campaign is in the strongest position to deliver that. You mentioned the other candidates. Mike Bloomberg is spending a lot of money. I heard about that. Did you hey, hear about this? A few hundred million here, a few hundred million. It adds up. Well, he's spending a lot here in Texas. How much of, of a threat do you think he is, Senator? Well, look, I think at the end of the day, when, when uh, Bloomberg's record is analyzed, uh, this is a guy who called for cuts to Social Security, opposed raising the minimum wage. Uh, and most importantly, I think at the end of the day, people understand that American democracy is not about a multi-billionaire buying the election. And I think at the end of the day, people want a candidate who comes from the ranks of working people, which is what my family is about, not somebody who is a billionaire who is buying the election. I, I, I don't want to get too far down the road here, too, but I'm sure at some point you have to be thinking about what kind of qualities you might want in a running mate. What would you be looking for? Well, you looking for a job? Maybe. All right. Well, <laughs> we'll, we'll take your resume. Uh, obviously, it will be somebody who is progressive, somebody who shares my views. What I can tell you is that we're going to have an administration, we're going to have a cabinet that looks like America. It will be the most diverse administration, I believe, in the history of this country. When people turn on the TV, they're going to say, you know what, this is what America is about. Are you concerned at all that this race might still be wide open and this could go to a broker convention? Uh, you know, it's too early to speculate. Uh, we won the popular vote in Iowa. We won the New Hampshire primary. I, I, I'm feeling pretty good about Nevada. I think we can win in South Carolina. And by the way, I think we got a good ch chance to win here in Texas and do well on Super Tuesday. So our hope is uh, that we will start winning a whole lot of states and get the nomination as soon as possible. You're ahead in Nevada. Congratulations on that poll, too. But uh, the New Hampshire numbers weren't what they were in 2016. What happened? Well, in 2016, I ran against one person. In 2020, I ran against eight people. A little bit hard to get the same numbers. Uh, one of the big three networks reported something, had a line in a story I wanted to ask you about. The unique challenge for Bernie Sanders, they say, is that you, you've shown little ability to attract supporters from the other corners of the party. Uh, you know, voters who back the faltering candidates have moved to other, other candidates as opposed to you. Well, what I say is that at the end of the day, virtually all Democrats, I would say 99% of the Democrats, will support the Democratic nominee, whether it's somebody else or whether it's me. We are going to stick together to defeat Trump. 